Wilderness areas are incredibly important because we need to have at least a few areas that we can go and feel like we're still connected somehow to nature. The wonderful thing is it's land that we can all share and we can all use and not one person owns it. And so you can come out here and feel like you kind of own it for the day. Vermilion Cliffs National Monument is on the Arizona-Utah border. It encompasses 300,000 acres for public use. You can go for days exploring the backcountry and finding all kinds of new discoveries. My first job with BLM was back in 2000. I was stationed at a remote site out in the middle of all of this, and I fell in love with it and didn't want to leave. I feel like my job is to help educate the public to protect places like this. Vermilion Cliffs is most iconically known for the wave. It is gorgeous. It is an undulating slick rock sandstone, but the wave is not the only feature in this beautiful country. There's so many other things to explore if you're willing to make the effort. White Pocket requires incredible commitment to get here. Skills to navigate some pretty tough roads and you're dealing with a lot of Mother Nature's worst elements. Getting here is a big reward. I'm free out here. A lot of us kind of scratch our heads because we don't understand how a landscape like this can be formed. But all of these things are shaped by Mother Nature over about 190 million years. And so it's pretty incredible and fascinating to marvel at how long it's taken to create this great sculpture. The beauty of this place, you can't compare it to anything else.